Welcome with the shade. They said they ain't want no more op so. What's good, gang? Welcome back to another show with August with the shade. Let's go ahead and get into the tea. Now, today we're going to be talking about how the female rappers literally love saying Little Kim's name when they're mad at Nicki Minaj. Let's get into it. Now, first of all, we got to just talk about how Little Kim is an iconic female rapper. Now, I can never take away, you know, her reign in hip hop. Little Kim definitely used to be a force to be reckoned with, you know what I'm saying, with her fashion and the way she was just, you know, very outspoken, you know, the way that she rhymed and all of that. People did love Little Kim, but what people don't understand is that her and Missy Elliott, they created this space in hip hop that kind of made the girls look like they got they, they sold out. You know what I'm saying? So they wasn't really pushing the female rap girls as like mainstream anymore because of, you know, the downfall of hip hop and female rap. So if Little Kim was the queen that they say she is, then Little Kim would have been able to, you know what I'm saying, keep the female rap names alive. And Little Kim didn't do that. She beat with every single girl and she wanted everybody's spot. So everything that y'all say about Nicki Minaj is exactly what Little Kim is. So first off, let's just get into it. When Little Kim came in the game, Nobody really, she didn't have really no competition like that, but Foxy Brown. But to see Nicki Minaj be, you know, Nicki Minaj, and all, after all of the things that she said, of course Nicki Minaj has literally paved the way for every single girl that you see today. Even the girls that swear they don't like Nicki Minaj, but always screaming her name in an interview like they did before, but as soon as they fall out with her, they find a way to only bring up Little Kim's name. Now, let's, before we get on Lotto and what she did, let's just talk about how the girls did it before. Y'all remember when, you know, um, Cardi B and everybody else used to claim that Nicki Minaj was this legend and stuff like that, but as soon as they fell out, oh, it was only Little Kim, then comes Megan Thee Stallion, she does a song with Little Kim and takes Little Kim off the song and you asked me to be on your second single and I said no because it, I feel like it's too much because murder uh motorsport was about to come out <clears throat> now you acting like you lovey-dovey with them girls why you ain't asked by me and Kim to be on your single baby girl and copyright her, her version on YouTube like come on now if y'all love Little Kim, why is she ain't on none of y'all songs? I, I mean, why isn't Little Kim on every single female rap album? I mean, I don't know. I mean, let's just talk about it. So Lotto comes out, she does this interview, and of course she want to get the people talking. So this is the way that she does it by being passive, you know, passive aggressive to Nicki Minaj. And this is what she say about you know loving the girls in hip hop. Listen to what she says. Goat female rapper, hmm. Big Mama, and that's all that matters. But like the goat is Little Kim for sure. Like fashion hmm. icon, timeless yeah, for sure. music, for sure. timeless. But I want you guys to remember that this, what you gotta remember, when you do interviews, they don't go anywhere. So I want you to remember, Lotto, that you said this also. So Nikki is the queen, and any <laughs> girl from this generation going forward who don't list Nikki is giving hater. <laughs> but Sure. <laughs> so is it because Nicki Minaj curved you? Is that why you mad? You know what I'm saying? Is that why you say, you know saying this now? You you were born in 1998, so that means that you really don't know a lot about Little Kim. You know what I'm saying? I have a little sister that was born in 1998, and she barely knows Little Kim like that. Of course she knows who she is, but she don't know her rhymes. She don't know any of her songs. So, girl, stop it. You are from Columbus, Ohio. You really barely from Atlanta. Like I don't even know why you even trying to like act like you know so much about hip, but you don't know a lot about hip hop like that. And you can tell by your creativity in your songs. Like no shade, but Little Kim is not your inspiration. Little Kim is not Megan Thee Stallion's inspiration. It is not, well, I don't know about Megan, because Megan is a little vulgar, but everybody else, just your whole aesthetic is, it doesn't give Little Kim. It gives Nicki Minaj. So I want you guys to remember the pretty girl, the girl that rap pretty and can do all of that and, and sings and all of that stuff, that's Nicki Minaj. That's not Little Kim. So I want you guys to remember that Little Kim did not write her music. So every time that y'all scream, you know, I looked up to Little Kim, you're talking about a girl that did not write music. She did not write music. She got called out for not being, you know, being able to write her songs. That's why Little Kim wasn't able to make hits after she got out of prison. It's no shade, but Little Kim is not a lyricist like that. She is a recital just like Cardi B. So it's no shade. So every time you say that, Lotto, I want you to remember, you bring yourself down three notches by being a rapper because Little Kim was just solely known for basically fashion. Like, they liked her because, you know, she tried to emulate everything that Pamela Anderson was doing. No shade, but that's exactly what happened. So, Lotto, girl, stop it. You doing that because you mad at Nicki Minaj, and you know Nicki don't really care. Like Nicki said in Big Difference, you swear you look up to her, but you really look up to me. You know what it is. Stop playing Lotto. So, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that Lotto was trying to be funny to Nicki Minaj, or do you think that Lotto is trying to stand on business and say, oh, yeah, Little Kim is actually my biggest inspiration, but we, do you guys see it? I don't know. And why does the rap girls always seem to throw Little Kim aside when they are, you know, ready to do some music or ready to put out some chart topping songs, they don't never bring Little Kim along. I mean, I want to know. Even Miss Yelly didn't even bring her along for her tour, but she brung out during Brooklyn. Hmm, very shady. But anyway, want to know what you guys think in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. <laughs> oh! Like, it's not that serious. Trust me, I know that. Oh, and before you go, make sure you check out these new videos, because, you know, <laughs> y'all be bored. Go ahead. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Let's laugh together. <laughs> I'm number one, y'all go argue over top four. I was thinking about y'all. Oh, here we go. August with the shade. Hold on, who we swinging on tonight? Why y'all gotta be swinging?